Hi, and welcome to Pro Tools 11, the new standard for audio production. In this video, we're going to look at the new Avid video engine in Pro Tools 11. We brought in the core engine from our award-winning video editor, Media Composer, now enabling users to play a wide range of HD video formats directly on the Pro Tools timeline. Not only can we directly play Avid HD video content like high-resolution DNX HD, but Pro Tools 11 also supports all of our popular QuickTime formats like ProRes, H.264, PhotoJPEG, and DV. We now have the ability to simultaneously playback picture in a window in Pro Tools, as well as out any of the supported video peripherals from Avid and third parties. These include support for Avid Nitrous DX, Mojo DX, as well as PCIe and Thunderbolt peripherals from AJA and Blackmagic Designs, like the Kona and Decklink products. The session we're looking at now contains high-quality Avid DNX HD 115 video, which was exported directly from Media Composer using a simple AAF. With the wide range of HD video formats that Pro Tools 11 supports, we no longer have to spend valuable time transcoding video before starting our audio production. And whether playing back Avid or QuickTime Picture, the dedicated Avid video engine ensures we have the ultimate performance. You can see that we even received the cuts and clip names that were brought over from the Media Composer sequence. With the new video engine in Pro Tools 11, we have the flexibility to be able to work with Avid HD video content as well as QuickTime formats. You can see we've switched to playback a second H.264 version of the picture. We've made sure that workflows from music production to ADR are supported and included features like seamless video looping over selected ranges. In this example, I've selected two bars of a drum groove to work on. I can simply put Pro Tools and Loop Playback and build up this section while referencing perfectly looped picture. By simply right-clicking on the video window in Pro Tools, we can easily jump to any of the variable display sizes for the picture. We even have a new full screen mode that perfectly fits to the screen. In this example, I'm using the second DVI output from my Mac Pro for picture. And we even give you the option to leverage the power of your GPU to decode video to help free up processing cycles that could otherwise be used for the audio engine. For each video track, we can set the project type, video quality, and output settings. The project type, or resolution, gets set automatically when importing MXF video from Media Composer. Video quality gives you the option to balance between image quality and system performance, while the output settings allow you to configure the settings for the attached video hardware, whether using an Avid or third-party device. With Bounce to QuickTime Video, we not only take advantage of faster-than-real-time bouncing for the audio sources, but we now allow you to efficiently transcode video between Avid and QuickTime formats. Let's say we need to make a bounce of this commercial for the producer who's requesting an H.264 version. We can simply choose the codec from the QuickTime settings, give the bounce a name, and optionally re-import the resulting video into our session. And if you need to reference the audio contained within a previously imported QuickTime movie, you can now simply right-click and choose Import Audio from Movie. Pro Tools will extract the audio, then give you the option to either create a new track or simply import the result into the clip bin. With Pro Tools 11, we've directly integrated the 64-bit video engine from Media Composer, which enables high-performance playback of a wide range of HD Avid and QuickTime video formats. Now we can directly export the sequence being cut by the video editor Media Composer and work with that same high-quality picture directly on the Pro Tools timeline. We've added improvements for ADR with seamless looping, full screen playback, as well as the ability to transcode video between Avid and QuickTime formats. Pro Tools 11, the new standard for audio production.